Hello, this is Craig Weiland, project engineer with GreenRoads. This video is to explain how to use the project page for pilot projects and A-Land assessments and how to uh, complete any agreements that are necessary on the project page. So in a previous video I described how to log into the website, so I'm already logged in here. And now I'm going to select a project from this drop-down. And as you can see, if there are agreements to be signed, a pop-up will appear saying so. Um, I'm going to close this real quick and show you that it also shows up at the top of your project page here that says to sign the project registration agreement. So I'm going to click the link to do so. And as you can see, it will have the text of any of the agreements that you need to agree to. So here is the project registration agreement. It has links in it to other documents that are relevant. And then the assessment agreement. Any project that registers on our website will have to sign the project registration agreement. And then the assessment agreement is for A-Line assessments and pilot projects. For projects pursuing certification, there will instead be a certification agreement instead of the assessment agreement. Once you've read the agreements, you can click the box that says I agree to these agreements and hit submit. It will then say do you want to keep this confidential or not. I'm going to make it confidential and hit submit. And then it says success, you've signed these agreements. And I will navigate back to the project page. And you can see that the little box that says you need to sign them is gone now. And this is the main project page as you would s will see it from the, that time on. Uh, on the main page here, there are fields for project information that we would like you to fill out to give us information about your project. I'm not going to fill out much of it, but I'll just type this and then hit submit at the bottom or update rather. Um, there are seven tabs here at the top, green tabs for you to navigate for the project. This last one called status will not appear for most users. It's there because I'm an administrator. Uh, the first tab is called upload docs. This is where any pilot projects or A-line assessments will upload information for us to look at for their assessments. To do so you click the upload button, select a document, it will upload and then tell you the date and initials of the person that uploaded it and then the title and whether or not you would like to delete it. Uh, all the documents will continue to populate in chronological order. The next way to provide information to GreenRoads is through a web link. This is often useful for agencies or clients that already have information on the internet. For instance, many agencies have their specifications online already. So rather than upload a large document to us, you can just provide a link. and you can provide a description as well if necessary. I will hit save and as you can see it populates below here as well with the date and the initials of who submitted it along as, as well as the link. Uh, the next way to provide information to Green Roads is through the feedback tab. This is a place where you can make simple notes as necessary. It could be useful for instance if you uploaded a web link document such as specifications and you need to refer to a certain page perhaps or where to find information within something. So this can also be used just to pr for quick dialogue between us and and any of the uh, clients. So I'm just going to type an example note here and hit submit feedback and similar to the other tabs, it shows the date, who uploaded it, and you can delete it if you, if you don't want it there anymore. The next tab is called My Team. 
Uh, I'm currently listed as the only team member here. You can add or subtract any people as necessary if other people are going to help upload documents or just to view. As you can see, there are three permission levels, view only, edit, and manage. The difference between editing and managing is that managers can change who's on the team and editing folks cannot. Um, you can remove people as necessary as well. If you wanted to add a new person to your team, you can enter their email, name, and, and give them a permission, permission level. If they've already registered on our website, they will just get a message that says you are linked to this project. If this person is new to Green Road's website, it will send them a new email with username and password so that they can get to the project. The next tab is called Timeline. This simply keeps track of who, who did things and when on the project and just all, all the activity is logged here. And then the records tab is where documents are saved after a review or an assessment has been performed. There's nothing for this project yet because nothing has been reviewed. And uh, then the last thing on the page here is the logo sub license agreement. So for a project to use any of our logos on signage or anything else for a project, they need to agree to our sublicense agreement. Um, there's other documents here that you can read up on, on how to use our logo appropriately. And once you have agreed to this, you can check the box, hit submit, and then we will send you logos as necessary for you to use for promotional purposes. Now we get back to the project, and those are the main tabs for the project page. If you have any questions or issues, you can contact support at greenroads.org. And there is another video that describes in further detail using the project page here for certification and uploading information on a credit-by-credit -credit basis. Thank you.